so welcome to this remote class on um, statistics and facts about wireless the we were on this slide 21 last time we finished it basically saying that the busy hour is the prime time and generally the prime time is after 5 pm 5 to 8 pm or so uh, and so somewhere there is a busy time busy hour and that has traffic which is um, um, which grows much faster um, Will be, which will grow much faster over the next um, five years or four years now. So now we go from actually a total different term. Um, instead of being on the and um, be, be talking about the business aspects of of, of um, wireless networking, let's talk about some human aspects. And uh, so the second report that I'm going to talk about comes from ITU. Um, and the ITU is the International Telecommunication Union, which is part of part of United Nations. And um, so they look into all the countries of the world, and they produce statistics as to what is missing from the world, not just places where there is a lot of money. And so this report is more from that point of view. So the first fact they have provided, and and, if, and and actually the report is produced at the year. So as you can see on the bottom, the numbers that I have is from this year, from the last year's report, 2015, which is the latest, and the URL is there too. Um, so the seven x in 15 years, users in 15 years, um, and um, this is not a forecast. Actually, this is a uh, this is actually a measurement of the past 15 years. So what it means is that in the last 15 years, the worldwide, seven times more users are online than they were 15 years ago, maybe 2001 or 2000. And that means that from 6% to 43% of global population, which is, um, you know, 6 billion or something. Uh, so the interesting thing to notice is while the total number of connected devices is three times, the world population, the human beings are only 43% connected, so 60% or 57% of the population is not connected. Right? 4 billion are offline and that's basically significant opportunity for those who care for such things. And um, so that is first fact, and we will talk about that as to that leads us to some other research areas, which talk about how to provide networking to the countries or places where there is no infrastructure. Second fact is 12x increase in mobile broadband in the last eight years. So the wired broadband, sorry, mobile broadband is not wired. The wireless broadband has increased. 12%. So now 69% of the 69% of the global population has access to 3G. Okay. And 89% now here's the 69% is a large number looks like the 70% of the population has access to 3G. Now the access is a keyword here. I have redlined it. So you seen before we said only 43% of the population is online. But I'm now saying that 69% has access. What it means is they have a phone which has 3G in it. Doesn't mean they're going to use it. Okay. So the access simply means having a phone which has 3G in it. Or actually not even having a phone, sorry. What it means is to living in an area where 3G is being offered, people may not have it. People may not be able to afford it. So, uh, so that's the difference. 69% of the population has access to 3G. Means, you know, if you go to a country, they might be broadcasting 3G, but many people may not be able to afford 3G and they might even have a dumb phone. Okay. Now, that 69% actually brought, uh, is actually a misleading number because 89% of the urban population has access. So, if you go to big cities, Everybody has 3G. 89% is almost like 90%. However, 
only 29 percent the rural rural population has it so in the villages people don't have it they don't even have access let alone being trying to use it or put some money in to get get the data or internet connection and like that okay so access is just having the having the option now by the way um, you should be able to ask question comment or anything just like you did in the class so please raise your hand if you have a question or comment and um, i will answer it okay and then fixed broadband is increasing very slowly only 7% or 1.7 times more no sorry it is only 7% per year increasing whereas you know that has gone from 6 to 43% i don't know how far so that is 7x in 15 years and that is some percentage which i have not calculated but the fixed broadband the wired broadband is going very slow and the reason it is expensive so many people in the countries that we are talking about here who are countries they can probably afford a 3g but they cannot afford a a dsl to home the difference is that 3g is only when you need it you pay and dsl is monthly charge right if you don't use it you pay so that's why the the wired broadband is not going much in the rest of the world I mean, it's not going right now as fast as one would think about it okay again so all of these things what they are saying is that the wireless is the one that is really happening in terms of networking all over the world and then there are several places where there are opportunities for us to dis discover some new methods of providing that access so here is now the same facts in a visual form so this one says you know how people are how many people are able to use internet okay so on the left you see 4 in 2000 400 million people had internet which are shown in blue and you see that is developed countries in 2000 but in 2015 almost everybody has internet access on the right side the, everybody is almost blue except 2 out of 10 maybe at 12 or something let me see 3 3 6 9 12 so you know 10 out of 12 people have internet today but in the developed countries only 3 out of 12 and in developing countries only 1 out of now you can count how many there are 12 times 4 49 One out of forty-nine, okay, and then LDC, which is even least developing countries, they have none. Basically, there is not enough to show even a one blue thing there. So this is called digital divide. Digital divide because some have it, some don't. Okay, and. Um, now is in 2015 actually so sorry, so left was actually 2000 on the right side at least one one there is one blue and there is lot more blue for the developing countries but there is a lot more to go there because more people are offline than online okay so so this is very interesting fact is that while we talk about everybody having internet access but really a large population does not have that access even today 2015 okay any question or comment no all right so then let's see from itu point of view what's happening so 2g access 2g access which is on the top is almost um, going there about 96.8 so that's almost close to 100% right there okay mobile phones are also almost 100% 95.3 there right of the world population however the the fixed broadband is very low and i can't read the number but it is less than 10% it looks like to me in the bottom graph graph then the blue one is um blue one i forgot to label that one um but anyway and uh, the uh, 
blue one looks like to me the mobile broadband, but I I can't be sure. I, I I forgot to label that. The red one is online users, so that is almost like forty three percent, and the household with internet. So here is the thing: users and the households are different. Household means how many families are in a house, because in many countries there is one phone per house, and even in our country, uh, in United States, there is only one broadband per house. So, so I mean the DSL. When we talk about DSL, so so the idea is that um, they measure both the households and the individuals. Okay, so that curves with the household. Um, uh, so is forty six percent, but and the users only forty three percent because there are lot many more users than the number of households. Okay, all right. So that is about the mobile versus fixed. So you can see that the fixed is no going nowhere on the bottom, and the mobile is going, going up and up and up. And um, maybe the three in that blue one is probably a three G, but I I can't be sure what that blue one is. Okay, so we'll move on. Oh, by the way, talking of um, mistakes. So last class I mentioned about LTE, TD LTE. and more stuff you might remember i said that that is for china actually that is not for china td lte is worldwide and um, td lte and when we come to lte we'll discuss as to why td is, is is good and so you know some place some carriers have chosen td some carriers have chosen fd which is frequency division multiplexing and so that is the standard lte what i was confused with was 3g not really lte in 3g there are two standards one is cdma which is worldwide and there is one called td scdma time division synchronous cdma which is um, uh, code division multiple access and we'll talk about cdma also at some point but basically so that td scdma is only for china and that is actually china grown technology and china used technology so i got confused with that td lte td lte is worldwide okay so i i must fix that one. i mean, I, might, i wanted to correct that one in this in this class so so similarly here if we find out what is that blue car car we will find out we'll tell you next class all right so the next thing is internet users so again um 29% Twenty-nine percent of these internet users. Actually, so what it is saying is that if there are hundred inhabitants, hundred population, then twenty-nine people have um, have subscription to something which could be two G, four G, three G, whatever. And then worldwide, that average is only ten percent. For developing countries, that is seven percent. For least developing countries, it is point oh point five percent, less than half percent. I mean, a card, a half percent, and so you can see how the world is so different, and um, and so people are working on it. And believe it or not, there are people at Google, Facebook, and other big companies which are looking into this problem because they want to reach people, and um, and for them, it turns out it is probably worthwhile to provide free internet. even in these countries because the income that comes out from the advertisement and thing like that they're missing on them because they don't have access to internet so so bringing the internet to these countries is on the priority list of many businesses okay yeah go ahead Okay, so the rural area is obviously depressed everywhere, including in the United States, um, and um, so less pe- less number of people will have. And this is simply a business um, business fact. If you have, if you if you want to put a million dollar of of towers, you would put it in New York City rather than in um, some suburb of St. Louis. You know, think about that because you won't get that many users. And so there are a lot many more company in Manhattan and New York City where you know, I mean. people are as opposed to you know any of the places in the united states where there are not no people right so so that is one fact second thing is 
in these developing countries main thing is the money here we don't count you know when we pay when i pay about let's say i pay about 40 bucks a month that's pennies for me and it turns out that the costs are almost the same in other countries but their income is much less you see so it is a much higher percentage of their income that they have to put if they want to have this thing does that answer your question okay any other question all right so we move on to the next one iot and we will have several modules on iot internet of things and that's a big opportunity right now that is on the top of the hype curve only 1% of the things around us is connected so things means anything which is not a computer all right so right now all the computers are have internet access are built in something you know either wifi or ethernet but the question is what about your table your fridge your room your fan and your whatever you have you know your body and so so everything else everything will be connected to the internet all right and uh, once they are connected then one uh, person is just a guess as we get connected more and more that number will probably remain you know less than some percentage because you know there are more things to connect there is no limit to the number of things that can get connected whether they are computing whether they are electronic or non electronic okay so those are the things so basically everything is getting connected and so the companies that are in networking business such as cisco and other companies hp and dell and so on they are burying about they are getting into this very they are looking they are putting quite a bit of money on this internet of things and they are pro- forecasting 14 trillion over 10 years and um, actually when we come to that lecture i will show you that there are so many forecasts about how much money there is in iot and every time somebody forecast they just override the previous one so they they really are not stable yet they just there is a lot of hype and so there is a lot of over forecast and over forecast and everybody is out doing the other ones anyway it is also called internet of everything by cisco smarter planet by ibm industrial internet by ge cyber physical systems by some of us in the academics and internet of european things when we used to have this thing so i i i i i talk about this that 5 years ago we wrote a survey of what's happening in the internet we means my students and i and um, we wrote about everything that was going on but we wrote a paragraph about internet of things we said oh this is only thing which is which is going on in europe and it's not of much interest here so this is actually that was the case at that time it was the internet of european things in the united states there was no interest while there was a lot of interest in europe but now it has become worldwide so anyway so internet of things is is another reason that why wireless is kind of hot right now so summarizing all this this is what the future looks like okay in the future you don't need wires you will have internet everywhere and um, and then you would could live as well you know basically and be connected and be talking and be you know social as if you were in the middle of a city and um, this is based upon the observation that before there were roads and good cars people used to live in the cities but as soon as the cars came in all the rich people moved out of the city and started living in the suburbs because that is where the fresh air is and they can get into the city within minutes right so same thing with with internet you could get fresh air wherever you want and get into the work any second you want okay that brings us to the end of this module and the five key things are first that the wifi has grown worldwide in just 15 years actually i should be correct about that 1997 did we say right so 97 to 15 16 now almost like 18 19 years so that's where wifi has gone from 2 megabits to now 500 plus megabits 5g cognitive radio m to m terahertz smart antennas lte advanced are the topics of active research right now 
and maybe LTE Advanced would go off this list because I think LTE Advanced is being offered now, so it's kind of right now it is 5G more than LTE Advanced, which is 4G. Wireless speed growth is following the Moore's law, and um, so basically, you know, it will increase by factor of two every 18 months, but it could go even faster if if the wireless people do some more work, which we are doing. Mobile subscriptions are developing, uh, are approaching world population. So, as we said, that while the mobile subscriptions are approaching world population, but it is not uniformly distributed, there is a dig digital divide. And so, while lot, some of us have more than one phone, while others have no phones, while some of us have a lot of internet access, and others have no internet access. And then, most of the traffic is video. So, that's another fact to remember that. Um, there is a lot of traffic on the wireless and on the internet today and most of it is video. Now we keep track of this you know every few years and then like I remember saying about 5 or 10 years ago that most of the traffic is web traffic because web had just been introduced before that it used to be email traffic. Now email is you know almost like I would say before 94, 94 to 2000 it was web traffic and now it is web, it video traffic. You see? So, the type of traffic keeps changing with time. 